Okay, so before we actually start adding Selenium and Java code to our actual steps class, we need to install Firefox and we need to add two add-ons to our instance of Firefox, which will help us when creating locators for our Selenium code. Because our code will be interacting with the Stack Overflow website, we need to create Selenium locators by using by accessing the Stack Overflow website. So these locators will be used as part of our actual code. So for example, if I need to click on the login button on stackoverflow.com, in turn, I'll need to have a locator which in turn points to that specific login button. So if you've downloaded the latest version of Firefox or you've got a more recent version of Firefox, you might see that the following add-on which is required is not supported as you can see. Firefox is incompatible with Firefox 56.0. So what you need to do is you need to uninstall the latest version of Firefox and then we're going to download and install an older version of Firefox. So I'm just going to uninstall this instance of Firefox. Okay, now if you access Google, I'm using Chrome browser and type in Firefox release download, you should get the following link. So click on this link here and that will give you all the releases of uh, all the versions of Firefox which you can download. So I'm gonna scroll down and let's say, I'm gonna select version 48. So I'm gonna set this version here. Once you click on that particular link, you should be presented with Windows 32 and 64. I've got a 64-bit version operating system, so Windows 64-bit version. So I'm going to select the following option. And then you need to select your language. So my one's this option here. I'm going to let that particular file download. Okay, so once the actual file's downloaded, I've just dragged it to the desktop. You should have the following .exe file and select 32 or 64 bit depending on your operating system version. Double click on this actual .exe file. Select yes, and then we're just gonna install this version of Firefox. Click next, next. Okay, so we're gonna launch Firefox. Once Firefox opens, I'm just going to close the relevant tabs here. I'm going to go on to add-ons. Okay, so I've got Firefox already installed here. So what I'm going to do is remove both of these add-ons. I'm then going to close my instance of Firefox, reopen by double clicking on the icon. I'm going to go back to this icon here, go add-ons. Then I'm going to get add-ons then I need to search for this particular add-on by seeing more add-ons button. Then I'm gonna say fire bug. So type in fire bug. We need this add-on here. I'm gonna say add to Firefox. So let this particular add-on install to our instance of Firefox. Okay, click install. So it successfully added that particular add-on. I'm then going to close this window, click on this button again, and there's one more add-on we need to add, which is Firepath. So select Firepath. We're going to add to Firefox again, click Install, restart our instance of Firefox. Okay, so close these particular windows. Sorry, maybe reopen that again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to access stackoverflow.com. Sorry, I've spelled it incorrectly. Okay, so now we're back on the Stack Overflow website. We're going to then click the Firebug icon. We're going to select this uh, option here. Select Firepath select XPath, and now if we go over the actual login button, as you can see, it's provided us with an XPath, which has one matching node, and as you can see, it's highlighted the actual login button. So when we're creating our locators, 
we'll be using the Firebug and Firepath add-on, but we'll be running our tests in Chrome browser.